ask this again, this kind of question. I want 30 years fast. But I'll go through this because a lot of you are confused by my insurance example. Unless you have, do you have any other questions? Or would you like to go through this again? Just so you know about this sort of this confusing model. And this one, in fact, involved parking in Bethesda. It can be hard to park in Bethesda. You know, if you ever gone over there. It's not the easiest place to park. And I give a utility function, and then I ask, and a couple go into Bethesda, and cannot find a street parking. They decide to park in a structure that they, uh, the car is booted, it will cost $100 to get the boot removed. If the car is not booted, they enjoy the evening without penalties. So they start with $200, and the problem of getting booted is 56%. And so you wonder, first of all, if you want to be realistic, you wonder, well, if the problem of getting booted is 56%, it's going to cost $100? Why aren't they parking in a lot? But anyhow, maybe the lots are just too expensive these days in Bethesda. Possible. These are lots like insurance. A lot of sort of feeling. You know, you pay for the lot that you know you're safe. You know, you park in the streets free, but you risk being booted. And so this is a world where <coughs> the choices are you have $200 or you have less than 200 We draw this graph up here with, in this case, utility is equal to, where was it? Oh, it's back to 10 feet of what happens one again. And you have this choice C2, that is calling it, which is $200. But then you have choice C1, where you spend $100. And you only have 100 left. And those are your two choices. And there's risk. In this case, the chance of, the chance of having to use the insurance, as we say, or, or having an accident, essentially, the accident in this case, is that someone actually boots you. It's 56%. So the probability of loss is equal to 0.56. And what's the, the expected loss? It's going to be equal to 0.56. consumption is C2 minus the loss, or $144. That's your expected consumption. What's the expected utility for the night out with this risk? What utility goes along with that? And what utility goes along with that? Well, we have to put the two bets into the utility function. So we have to put in our 0.56 times 10. That's the utility from your night out. It's the utility of your night out with risk. That's the utility of your night out with risk. C. 
Suppose a new parking structure is opening next to this permanent parking structure. How much could the neighborhood parking structure charge for this couple in order for them to be indifferent or between getting booted and the certainty of not getting booted? How much could they charge to be indifferent between getting booted or not getting booted? In order to find indifferent, this is the point of indifferent. This would be, I have this much happiness by either getting booted or not. 56% of the time that I get booted, 44% I don't. This is the happiness level with risk. Same happiness level means indifferent. Indifferent between two points, how much would you be willing to pay to avoid that risk? It would be indifferent between this point and this point. It would be C2 minus the certainty equivalent would be how much you'd be willing to pay. You'd be willing to pay up to this much money to be indifferent. Because this is no risk, this is risk. But I first need to find the certainty equivalent. I need to take that 118.2 and go 118.2 is equal to 10C to the 1 half. I solve for C, and I get $139.7, which means that $139.7, I'm willing to pay $60.30 be indifferent between facing the risk or not facing the risk. $6.30. <coughs> if the parking business were perfectly dependent, how much would this new structure charge this person? They would charge them exactly $56. This example, doing this here. So I found each other that way. And then, in order to find the consumption that goes along with that, for this, for this no risk, risk averse person, I need to then find, solve for C here. So I get 118.2 equals 10 C to the half. I divide by 10 on each side and I get 11.82 is equal to C to the half. I square each side and I get C equals, once I square this, I should get 139.7. That's my value. 